It is a women's bantamweight matchup between Jermaine Durandamy and Raquel Pennington. Drillers make killers, and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman. She has become a force in this division, and even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meeting, I have thrown that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. All right, so here she is, one of the more prolific kickboxers to cross into the UFC in some time. She might kick harder than you, bro. Oh, yeah, she does kick so hard. I mean, you look at the videos. The videos are all out there, and you watch this young lady landing these brutal leg kicks on the bag, landing the high kicks, the body kicks. It's, it's unreal to watch someone of this stature able to land and be as physical as she is. She's so aggressive in her approach. She's so comfortable in such tight confines that her opponents usually panic because they can't understand, as we can, how she can be okay when she's under duress as she is. I asked her to kick me in the leg at our fighter meeting on Thursday, and as you see, I'm still limping. So she packed some power, and her opponent better be ready for it here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Phantom Weight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 14 wins, 9 losses. She stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, Raquel Rocky Pennington. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 10 wins, 4 losses. She stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Utrecht, the Netherlands. And with the attributes, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. All right, so here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the T-Mobile Arena. It's hard to believe this venue hasn't even been open five years when you think about all the big events it has held. Conor versus Khabib. You beat Stipe to become the double champ inside these very walls. You're getting chills being back tonight, champ. I'm getting chills being back at the T-Mobile Arena. I love this venue. And I'm going to tell you one last thing before the fight night starts. After you're done, take a walk outside and take a gander at the side of the building. You can see your boy DC, prominent of... And that Vegas air feels like oh. a hair dryer in your face. <laughs> it's so hot. Oh, really using the reach advantage to land the jab there, DC. Well, you asked her on Thursday, how soon are you going to shoot? Very early. Nice job getting the fight to the ground here in the early go. Sometimes taking that shot too early can find you can find yourself like Ben Askren. But she knew that she held a huge advantage. She implemented exactly what she wanted to do, and now she finds herself in a dominant top control position. Ben Askren not going to be too happy if he plays he EA Sports UFC 4. He won't be happy with his boy. <laughs> Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Durandamy. Pennington's looking for that arm triangle now. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Nicely done. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Durandamy. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. 
Well, her ground and pound is downright scary in constant pursuit of the finish. Might get it here. She does a really good job of throwing punches with intent. She never just throws just to be throwing. Every punch is meant to land, and every punch is meant to start a finish. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Jermaine Durandi. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Oh, Sage work from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. Oh, Pennington's got the full mount. Man, she is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Oh, big punch land. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Survivor there. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly go where she is right now after taking such a massive hit. Well, when you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position, unreal to see. So that's a nice job by her there to reverse the position on the ground. She was in trouble, now she is the one handing out the punishment. Great change of position very quickly. Durandamy's in full guard now. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Good ground and pound by her here. She felt like she could finish the fight with her ground strikes tonight and might be well on her way here. I mean, John, I believe it after watching the ground and pound that she's landing in this part of the fight. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, really using her reach advantage there with that punch, you see. Oh, wow, oh, oh! Wow! There's a takedown attempt by her there. Not a great entry. What does the Olympian have to say? She has to mix it up. She has to trick her opponent to go to the spot that she wants if she's going to get this fight where she needs to be. Nice punch by Durandamy. Well, we told you off the top. Her offensive wrestling was off the charts. She gets another takedown there. Now we'll see what she can do. Now she looks to try and control her opponent because she's gotten a ton of takedowns, and it's awesome to see. But. At some point, she needs to get some ground control if she truly wants to wear down her opponent. Listen, that was awesome. We need more of that. I want you to go out at the beginning of this round and be aggressive. Be well, a punch like that would have felled lesser women, but she survives and gets to fight another round. She's as tough as they come. She's sitting on her bench right now telling her coaches, I'm good. I'm ready to go. That was just a moment. I'm still going to get the victory. I believe she has to change something. She cannot continue to do the same thing and expect a different result. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, big head kick there. Get the turnover in that kick. Combination lands for her there. She would seem to be in the zone. Is that something you hey, feel as a fighter? I like that. Yes, she's in the zone. She everything that she throws seems to be finding its target. Pretty impressive ground and pound display here, champ. She's doing a great job of finding the right time to take her ground and pound opportunities. Oh, she blocks the punch. Good. Right. Maybe a cut to the left of the nose. Again. 
back into this position. Pennington's got the tall. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice. What a kick down the kick. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Oh, how about that reversal by her there, champ? That is a fantastic transition by this young lady. What a job. Man, her submission attempts keep on coming. Going for the choke now. So her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to give their backs so that she can chase her submissions or they're going to lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. 79 total strikes have landed for Jermaine Duran. And in terms of the connection rate, if you care, 71% accuracy thus far against Raquel Pennant. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in... Another big thing, though. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground and bounce. Right in the side control, yep. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Half guard position for her here, and if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You've got to make sure you're on an elbow control. Oh, Pennington's looking to lock up an arm bar here. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she spent a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the match. Nice punch lands over the top. Back and forth we go. That was a thudding leg kick. A nice jab to the head by Raquel Pennington. Another strike to the head land. Nice leg kick land. Nice jab by Pennington. She blocked the punch. Rips the body there. Ten seconds remain in round two. All right, so again, she tries for the takedown here, and it is just non-stop effort. Once she commits to the takedown attack, few women have been able to stop. Very committed, and she has unbelievable confidence in her wrestling cardio, so she will throw as many attempts as she needs to get this fight to the ground. All right, so that's the end of the round. Lot to like in there, DC, particularly when it comes to her offensive wrestling. She's evolving, right? She's gotten better. She did not have this skill set before. Now you watch her, and she looks like an Olympian. She looks like a girl that can wrestle at the highest level. She scored so many takedowns in that round. Her wrestling coach must be very proud. All right, so she was able to take her opponent down really at will in the previous round. We'll see if her opponent has made the proper adjustments here. It's going to be very difficult because the way that she attacks is so diverse. She's never just doing one thing and giving a pattern. Right. It's always like, it's like algebra, right? Her opponent's doing 
basic mathematics, but she's doing algebra. She's giving her so much information that she gets lost. And when her opponent gets lost, she's able to secure top position and really, really start to get damage off. I get anxiety just hearing the word algebra. Oh. You do well in that? No, John, no, I didn't. Oh, I thought that I could use my graphic calculator to get the answer. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? That knee might have landed there. Spinning back fist. Timing her shots nicely here tonight, DC. She's doing a great job, but not only being active, she is so accurate. She's on point tonight. The numbers 122 total strikes have landed for Jermaine Durandon. And landing there, this could be the end. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Back to the feet. All right, so she goes to the kick and promptly lands. Nicely done there. She has done that over and over again. Every time she throws it, it's landing. Again, they will clinch. We'll see how it goes. Nice punch here. hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Now she's got the longer reach. No problem finding her range and landing the straight punch there. Pennington's lower jaw does not look good. I oh, and there's that double leg takedown. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is... Oh, Pennington's looking for that arm triangle. to prevent the fish. Well, she's got to protect her neck. That's the first thing. She's got to really be aware of where her opponent's arms are. If her opponent get anywhere near her neck, she needs to really defend. Attack the top hand. The top hand is the choke hand. Make sure that top hand is always yours. When you grab it, keep it. It belongs to you now. And then start to work. Try to get to your base and get back to your feet. Well, she connects with a right hand. She loves that right hand, and why not? It's her best punch, and if her opponent doesn't change something, she's gonna go to sleep. Leg kick. Man, her striking looks clean tonight. Timing on point. Her timing's on point. Her accuracy's on point. She's very busy. She's in a good flow. Nice strike. Oh, she's got a good left hand, and... Put it to good use there, DC. She's very accurate with that strike. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her. This could change the fight. Another takedown land. Pennington's looking for that arm triangle now. Nice job to post the hand and get upright. Oh, man, her face is painted with blood now. Ooh, what a punch. <laughs> 20 seconds to go in the fight. Oh, she landed a jab there. Is her jab better than yours? Or it's way better <laughs> than mine. She's so fast, and she throws it with ill, ill intent. Doubled up on the jab there. Nicely done by Pennington. Oh, big knee there. Oh, nice right hand. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, and she really put it all together on the feet as we show you some of the highlights. From it's all come full circle for this young lady. She said on Thursday 
that we would see a better version of her than we did the last time she was in the octagon. I will take that a step further and say that this is the best we've ever seen. She should win a pretty clear decision. All right, the official decision Ladies is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. To play the winner by unanimous decision, Jermaine, the Iron Lady, the all right, so a pretty clean effort out of her, really, from the opening horn tonight. She is your winner by unanimous decision. And as a fan, you understand how important this is in the evolution of someone's career. She did a great job of staying focused, staying the course, and getting a unanimous decision.